Hey y'all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the great state of Texas. More specifically, the right outside Bass Trope, I think. And Texas is known for a handful of things. You have steer, you have guns, and you have chainsaw massacres. This right here is the gas station used in the 1974 movie, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You can actually eat barbecue in there. A movie based on a family of incestuous cannibals. And we can go in there and have ourselves some barbecue. I'm excited. I am too, let's go. What does this sign say? It says, gas station, cabins rent, barbecue, and horror? They're advertising barbecue and horror? The name is We Slaughter Barbecue. About three or four years ago, I was They slaughter barbecue. Not teenagers, barbecue. Wow, this is cool. He's so cute. Here is a super deep cut right here. We have Leatherface from the Atari video game. That's insane. Ah, uh, I miss my daughter. I'm talking Tina, and I don't like you. More bread, I get it anytime. All right. Oh, thank you. Of course, barbecue here in Texas is not made out of pigs. It's made out of cows. Got this amazing brisket right here. Check that out. Yeah, that was some serious, amazing brisket. A very fine introduction to Texas barbecue. Did you eat all yours, Adam? I'm getting there. I'm really liking this potato salad. That's good too. That was some seriously good brisket. I only hope it wasn't actually human flesh. It's a recreation of the van. Gosh, I can still smell that barbecue and it smells really good. It's actually, you look back here, they have four different cabins back behind the Texas Chainsaw Massacre gas station. Tonight, be sleeping here amongst Leatherface and his cannibal family. I have this sneaking suspicion that that guy that cooked us the barbecue is planning on killing us tonight. I'm getting, I'm getting worried, man. <laughs> This legitimately looks like a spot where an actual Texas Chainsaw Massacre would occur. Yeah, walking around at night out here is pretty freaking creepy. And we are now in Austin, Texas. The other night, me and Adam stayed at the original gas station from the 1974 Chainsaw Massacre movie. And now, and now, we are visiting the Mean-Eyed Cat Bar here in Austin, Texas. This was actually featured in the second movie, and it was the actual chainsaw store that Dennis Hopper's character went in 
to buy chainsaws and get revenge on the evil Texas Chainsaw Massacre family. And believe it or not, this is also a barbecue restaurant. Let's go eat. If you check the movie out, it looks like this place is in the middle of absolute nowhere. There's like skyscrapers in every direction. For some reason, there is a shrine to Johnny Cash. Actually, in the back of the bar, they have this stump that was used by in the movie where, where Dennis Hopper hacked into it with the chainsaw. So you can see several battle marks over there. And look up there. There's a taxidermy cat that literally has no part of the original animal left. It is purely the taxidermy form. Actually, there may be a little chunk of cat left on his back leg there. There's the original sign that used to hang out front, or at least hung outside in the movie when this was the chainsaw store. I guess sticking with the Johnny Cash theme, this is a ring of fire. It's actually a Stubbs barbecue in this facility. I think that it's a chain, but it's very famous here in Austin. Again, we are chowing down on some barbecue. Adam's got some pulled pork. Mm, can I have some of your sausage? Absolutely. I couldn't, I couldn't stop at just pulled pork. I got pulled pork, sausage, and pulled beef. It's gonna be good. All right, we are now in Manor, Texas. And we have had quite the journey. We traveled to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre house, or gas station rather, the, the, it's 1974 gas station used in the Texas Chainsaw in Bastrop, Texas. We went to the chainsaw store that was used in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 in Austin, Texas, which are both barbecue restaurants, by the way. But there's, believe it or not, in this world we live in, there's three locations, three Texas Chainsaw locations that are barbecue restaurants. And that is where we are now, in Manor, Texas, at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre gas station from the 2003 remake that is also a barbecue. We live in a world where there's three Texas Chainsaw Massacre barbecues. What a time to be alive. Let's go fill up our bellies. It's like there's actually a legitimate general store as well. All right, let's try this one more time. We got some of this delicious sausage and brisket. Ah, these like cubed cheese. I've not seen that yet. And Adam's eating some ribs over there. I mean, the cheese first. I love cheese. I like Steve Urkel. Got any cheese? Got me. There's no leather face here, but there is the wicked witch back here in the bathroom. And so the journey ends. We have traveled to the three barbecue restaurants 
that have been built out of locations used in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films. As far as food goes, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say the original, I guess the original is always better, because the original 1974 gas station, I believe, had the best food. This place has the, definitely has the best atmosphere. Very cool in there. So, appreciate you guys watching. Hey guys, Jacob here. Um, I just wanted to pop in here that uh, those Texas Chainsaw Massacre locations uh, I filmed over the last, maybe was it two weeks or so, uh, with my friend Adam the Woo. We did a little road trip in Texas. Um, and I, as I stated in that video, that first location, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, gas station from the 1974 music had the absolute best beef brisket that either me or Adam had had in our lives. And we actually, um, in Adam's video, we did a seven day barbecue challenge where we ate barbecue for seven consecutive days. If you watch that on Adam's channel, um, we constantly reference back to the, the first day and that amazing brisket that we just was absolutely not topped. Absolutely the best brisket. And um, I didn't show in the video um, but the brisket there is uh, cooked and prepared by a man named Calvin uh, Bilbo. Um, he was a super friendly guy. Um, I regret I didn't get any, any any footage of him, but super friendly, super accommodating. He um, you know made up our our, our dinner there. Um, and Adam uh, texted me today, and it turns out that Calvin uh, passed away last night. Um, and that was before. Uh, before I'd even gotten a chance to upload the video or not, so that's uh, kind of put us in shock, given you know uh, the great experience that we had there. And I was looking forward to promoting his uh, his uh, barbecue. I mean, it's amazing. It's in a toy store in the middle of Texas, the best barbecue brisket you'll ever eat. I was looking forward to to promoting it. Hopefully, putting pushing some business that way. So other people can can try that uh, amazing barbecue, but sadly um, he's passed, and uh, you know definitely my the first condolences go out to his friends and family. Seems like he was very well uh, loved in the area, um, and also sad that the best brisket in Texas is no longer available. So um, I didn't want to put up this video without at least mentioning uh, the passing of Calvin. And there you go.